Welcome learners. Today's topic is souls. In the souls, we want to look at the definition of a souls, types of souls, how to prepare soluble souls. Now the person begin by dividing what's a souls. A salt is a substance formed when hydrogen ions in an acid is partially or wholly replaced by a positive ion. The positive ion can be a metal ion or ammonium ion. Then we have what we call types of salts. Now we have four types of salts. We have what we call normal salts. And normal salts, we have four types of salts. That is normal salts, acid salts, basic salts, and double salts. Now if we look at how they define these salts and give, and give examples. Now a normal salts is one which do not contain replaceable hydrogen atom. Examples include sodium nitrate, zinc chloride, magnesium chloride, etc. Two, acid salts. Acid salts is one which contain replaceable hydrogen atom. Now, this acid salt has got acidic properties. Examples include sodium hydrogen sulfates, potassium hydrogen carbonates, etc. Number three is basic salts. This, one, this basic salts is one which contains hydroxyl ions. Examples include basic zinc chloride or basic magnesium chloride. And last one is double salts. Is one to contain two different anions or cations. Examples include trona, potassium aluminum sulfates, or sodium aluminum chloride. Now next one to look at is solubility rules of salts. The first one is nitrates. All nitrates are soluble in water. Two, chlorides. All chlorides are soluble in water except silver chloride, mercury chloride, and lead two chloride. Although lead two chloride is soluble on warm water. Three, sulfates. All sulfates are soluble in water except lead two sulfates, barium sulfates, and calcium sulfates. Three, four, carbon. All carbonates are insoluble in water except sodium carbonates, potassium carbonates, and ammonium carbonates. Now, next, we want to look at is how to prepare soluble salts. Soluble salts are prepared by five ways one, metal and acid reaction, two, insoluble metal oxide and acid reaction, three, alkali and acid reaction, four, carbonates and acid reaction, five, direct synthesis. So in our lesson today, we want to look at how to prepare soluble salts by metal acid reaction. We start by looking at, first of all, general. So the general equation for this one is metal plus acids, arrow, salts plus hydrogen gas. Observation made during this reaction is effervescence occurs reason due to production of hydrogen gas. Now, two, the next one to look at is how to determine the end points of a metal acid reaction. There are two ways. One, if an reacted metal remains. Two, if no more effervescence occurs. For example, if you are told there are two ways in which you can determine the end point of a reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid. So the answer will be if the answer will be if unreacted zinc remains or if no more effervescence occurs. 
Now next you want to look at is uh, Hubbles of salts which can be prepared by this method includes zinc sulfate, magnesium chloride, zinc nitrate, etc. Now for example if you are told starting with zinc granules explain how you can prepare zinc sulfates so what you want to do now the steps to follow to prepare zinc sulfate when you're starting with zinc it means for me to get sulfates i require sulfuric six acids so the steps will be as follows add excess zinc into the dilute sulfuric acids to obtain zinc sulfate solution filter out unreacted zinc as a residue to obtain zinc sulfate solution as a filtrate heat zinc sulfate solution in a water bath until saturated and allow cooling for crest to form pour off the mother liga then dry the crystals between filter papers. Now, points to note about that reaction. Why is excess zinc added to the acid? To ensure all the acid reacts. Now, point note number two is crystals are dried by using filter papers and not eating because when they are eaten, they lose what they call water of crystallization. So learners, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson we want to look at how to prepare uh, soluble salts by other methods which we mentioned earlier. Thank you.